I'm about to leave and go pick up one of my friends from high school and then we're gonna go get lunch and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I need to get gas so I might do that right after and who knows what else. Today I say face my demons as I am at the park where I had my first kiss with my ex, which was my first kiss in general, so I just wanted to go and kind of just say goodbye to memories, I guess, you know, feeling sentimental today. But no, I hung out with my friend and it was fun and now, and I got gas and I still have the boba from when I was hanging out with my friend. So I'm about to, I did not get anything out of that sip by the way. I'm gonna just walk to the spot where we had our first kiss, which is right over there. It's on the far side of the park. So, wish me luck. So you really do have to treat it as if it was like a death in the family. And I'm not saying like a death as in, you know, that person's dead, you know? Like my ex isn't dead, my ex is very much alive. But it's kind of more of like, you know, you did lose someone. And I'm not, I'm still not talking about your ex. I'm talking about like the person you were when you were with them, I guess. And, you know, it's okay to, to grieve that person because they're not here anymore. And they won't ever come back because that, that you isn't here anymore. You know, like that you's gone. There's a different you now. And it could be better, but it's okay to be sad that the you that was you when you were that when you're with them is no longer around and that makes me kind of sad but it's nice to come back here and just look at the memory for what it was like we were standing like around here ish and i was getting like mosquito bites everywhere <laughs> and then after it i think i either sat right there or right here i don't remember but yeah so i'm about to leave but it's a good memory you know and i am grieving my, my past so that, but it'll okay so I just got back into my car and I guess like that's what's also hard about getting through breakups and stuff is that not only did you lose someone you care for so much you also lose like that version you were when you were with them and I really love the version I was when I was with him. And it just sucks because it's like, you know, you lose, you lose two people when you get through a breakup. You lose them and you lose you. And like I see my old version all over this park. And I see her happy and in love. And I, And like not knowing what's gonna happen and it makes me really sad and sometimes i wish i could just go back to being her just not knowing and just being able to be happy but i guess that's what's what's about moving on is accepting that i'm not her anymore and that i'm not in the same situation and that like this park will always be here and i'll always have my memories here but i'm not the same person looking at the memories anymore i'm different now from her and it's okay but it's also sad and i guess i know it's okay to be sad yeah so hashtag revisiting old memories is so great now let's go to the first place where i had my first date no i can't do that i think i did that last time i was here no i didn't i haven't done that since i broke up since we broke up but i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm sitting here in between i have two hours before my movie with my friends i'm hanging out with my friends after two and i'm on airplane mode right now i'm off the grid actually <laughs> um but no it's really nice to be here though and to be able to look back on the memories and still enjoy them. <sighs> yeah, cinematography. Oh <laughs> hey queen. <laughs> hey queen. The horse? Uh. Renegade, disconnected floating super, <laughs> super, 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 super,
No. 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 Why are you so strong? <laughs> Yay. Yay. Hello, it is Editor Quirky here. I forgot to film an outro because I got back pretty late at night. So, it was good. We hung out, played some horror games for a while, which was fun. And we played Pico Park with eight people and some Jackbox before that. It was just fun. We were hanging out. I was hanging out with a bunch of couples. So, it was three couples. So, six people and those. And then me and my other friend. So it was just, it was great. We were like, I love being like an odd number wheel. So being the seventh wheel and the eighth wheel was great with one of my friends. And we were like, we were calling each other babe. We're like, okay, babe, okay, schnickum, sort of. We were like saying a bunch of pet names to each other. It was really funny because we were the only two single single girls. So it was funny though. But yeah, I'm going to go. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'm sorry to see you. Bye. And oh my goodness, my eyes are kind of dry right now. I kind of want to take all my contacts. But go check out tomorrow's video. I usually, whenever I forget to edit, I always try to try to get you guys to watch whichever video I've just been filming because sometimes it's exciting and right now it's kind of exciting. So go check her out. But 